Hey YouTube, this is Chad Close. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial and we're going to make this uh, kind of scene view with a kind of a wooden table with an ingrain bump map, uh, kind of a glass base. And then we'll, uh, we'll put a liquid in there and uh, we'll render it out in cycles and we'll see, go from there. So we're going to go over bump maps in cycles, uh, glass texture in cycles, and then how to put a mock liquid in there. Um, without actually using the liquid modifier that they have built in Blender. You can use that, but uh, it just takes longer for the render, and uh, it also is not as clean. The sides aren't as clean, but you can do it. There's tutorials out there, so I'll just let you, if you want to explore that, you can do that. So let's get started. Let's just open a Blender up. And it comes to the default screen. This is my default screen with nothing. And let's just go ahead and add a cube. And this is just going to be our table. So let's just scale along the z-axis. Scale it up a little bit. Scale along the z. Alright. And then let's just get our camera set up. So let's just throw a camera in here. Rotate it. Like so. Oops. Rotate it this way. And just moving it around, get like how you want it, go into zero and then shift F and you can kind of position it and look around and see how you really want it. You can tilt it by just hitting rotate. So there we go, we got a pretty basic uh, scene set up, so let's just go over to cycles render. And let's throw a light in here, and what I normally do for lights, I don't use lamps. I just create a plane, rotate it around, kind of just put it in there. We'll have the sun, the light coming in from this way, so the shadow will be going that way. I think, can I like, no, oh. yeah, duplicated it, alright. So, let's go into our materials tab and just hit new, name it light. Change the fuse to emission, and then let's just crank it up to three. Hit zero, and we'll just go into render mode real quick. See where we're at. Maybe crank it up a little bit. It's all on preference. And then let's select this table, and let's just call it table. Go to our materials tab, hit new, and we'll do wood table. Change it to, we'll go to glossy. And then we need to open up a new window. Hit that for solid. Down here, go to the node editor. And then hit shift A, or you can do add down here. And do texture, image texture. Grab this. Scroll in. And then connect the color and color by just dragging. And then go ahead and find uh, a wooden surface that you like I found one I believe I just found it on Google this is the one I'll be using just go ahead and select your texture then if we we're gonna have to unwrap it because by default it uses the UV texture uh, grid or layout not uh, generated so just go into edit mode select it all and then you can do unwrap but when you do unwrap, it'll just, here I'll show you, if you unwrap it, and then I'll show you what the unwrap looks like, it's just a bunch of squares. And the problem with this is when it's in material, or render, you can see it better. You see all these lines right here? Well that's because the sides unwrapped are along this entire surface, so that's why we're getting this view. So if we go back into solid edit mode and select it all and we go unwrap smart UV project it's not exactly what I got last time uh, it's not exactly what I want 
we'll just smart unwrap it all and then have our top select our top and the bottom and then over here just grab them and then scale them up to the desired uh, resolution of the table so I'm just going to do the entire picture and then on the other one select all those and we're going to scale them along the y-axis make them skinny and then just move them so they're only in one of these grains and that'll make it look a lot a lot better so I'm just hitting L to select all, all the links and now if we go over here and we go into rendered after I exit out of this uh, we see that our sides are looking a lot better um, it's not perfect but for what we are doing it's good enough so let's just go up here and save it and we'll do tut glass All right, save that and now we're gonna add a bump map here so an easy way to create a bump map is if you go and open it into I use Photoshop but you can use GIMP uh, or whatever other software and in Photoshop go up to image mode grayscale and just hit discard and it'll turn it into gray uh, black and white and then go down to adjustments brightness and contrast and just crank the brightness up and pretty much wherever it is dark it's gonna make uh, indents or raised spots so just get it to the desired brightness or contrast just hit OK and then save as and then hit bump I have already done this uh, here's mine table bump so that's what mine looks like so we'll just duplicate this image sprite texture by just hitting shift D and then connect we're actually gonna add another node and it's gonna be color mix right here and we'll hit the color to displacement and then we'll add the color to one of the nodes and then we can change this factor and we can change how how much it affects the bump map so as we can see if we go down lower it does less if we go up higher it does more so just go to the desired what you want um, if you want a really rough wood go at it um, I'm just gonna have this nice uh, not too raised but not not uh, smooth wood so we can just join these areas again go into solid mode so now we got our table and our pretty much our entire scene set up so now let's just go and throw a basic vase in there and go into tab mode select limits and get out of face mode bring it up along the Z scale it down let's just do a pretty basic vase I'm just hitting extrude scaling it up and moving it along the Z axis and I'm just gonna kinda just do a just a pretty simple vase shape nothing too fancy I'm not trying to uh, create the next thing so let's keep extruding it go ahead and start making the inside the closer you get it to the walls the thinner the glass will look in the render so if you want to take more time and get these closer and put, like put another edge loop in here and scale it out you can do that by all means um, I'm just gonna leave it at this maybe scale this in that kinda looks ugly alright and then we'll just hit T to bring up this toolbar over here and hit smooth for shading go into edit mode and then select everything or recalculate normals go ahead and save this let's go ahead over here and add a subsurface modifier crank it up to two so there we are we got a, a base you know whatever nothing nothing too fancy so let's just align this in our view wherever you want you can scale it up or scale it down if you desired make sure it's resting on the table 
don't want a, a funky shadow or some sort. Let's just go into rendered view. Go over to our materials tab. Add new. Hit glass. And then in the diffuse, go over and hit glass. So, I mean, it's pretty basic. There's a good about that. My recorder timed out. So, it's pretty basic. Um, here's a glass texture. I mean, you could use that if you wanted to. But you can also go down here and change it. The roughness, as you can see, you can kind of, it's clearer when you see through. If you crank this roughness up, it kind of gets blurry and uh, light doesn't pass through it as well. So let's just uh, put it to a pretty low value so you can kind of see through it, but you can't. This IOR is going to warp what you see behind it. So right now it, it's pretty, you can see pretty, through it pretty good, but if you increase this, it, you're, it's really going to warp what you see and if you decrease it it's pretty much see-through so we want a good a low value that's not terribly low so we'll just go 1.3 you can change the color of the glass I'm just gonna leave it as clear go ahead and save this go back into solid mode now let's just add our liquid in here so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna select all of the inside loops Yes, it's that easy. Just select the inside loops. Oops. I am just holding Shift and Alt, and I am selecting the loops. It works the best, I think. So that's probably good. We don't want the liquid going up too high. And just hit Shift Duplicate, and then right click, and then Control V, and do Separate Selection. Let's select that selection, just scale it down a tad bit, extrude it, and then merge it in by hitting Control V Merge at center. You can also do it over here, eh, right there, Merge. So there we have our liquid. So let's just go ahead and name it liquid. Or we'll just call it water. And we'll call this glass. So in our water, now if we go into rendered, view um right now it's just two glass balls in each other because the material gets it from its parent which would be glass so let's just add a new one and we'll do water and we're going to change glass to diffuse and then just get it a bluish tint so there we go we have a vase on a pretty basic wooden scene with a bump map and yeah, you guys just got smarter and learned how to do a pretty basic shading and cycles. Learned a little about bump maps and texturing using the node editor. Um, so like, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Have a nice day.